hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Pele and if you are new to this channel just make sure you hit that subscribe button you like the video and also you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any video that will be dropping soon so for today's videos we're gonna be doing the second part of creating a logo using microsoft word so the first one we learned pretty much a little bit a simple and uh easy way to do a logo but for this tutorial we're gonna try to do a little bit of a complex uh, uh, logo so let's go let's start so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna click on insert and we're gonna click on text box and draw a text box so we're just going to name our company ntl and and we are going to get this and we're gonna remove the fill there i don't want any fill and there is no line so when i click now i don't have in that so now just make sure you select the box before i just think i just made that mistake you right click and then you go to format uh shape so when you come here just make sure you remove the fill so you say no fill so if you're on uh, another version of microsoft uh work this one this uh window here may not show up so you have to go click and then i think on the previous version it's gonna be no color but for new version they pretty much name the no fill and i'm not gonna have any lines so now when i click see i don't have any line on that surrounding my text so now the next thing we are going to give some different uh, color and then a different uh, font for our text so for this text here i am going to use a 80 size for the text we may increase it or decrease it just depending on our circle and for the for our uh, font i'm going to use a different font uh, let's see if i have it here so i'm going to use actually i already had it the elephant elephant uh font so here i can just increase it so i get all my text in so now i can just maybe give it a hundred percent a hundred size so now we have our text here so i can personalize it because right now it looked a little bit it looks a little bit boring like all black so i'm going to give this maybe a different color uh maybe we can go with something like uh something like this and the t and l i'm going with a little bit darker so it gives that contrast on the text so for now for our text we are going to leave it like that uh, as it is and now we are going to add another text so because uh, we want to know like what our company is as most logo would do so we are going to add it and let's see this is a motion picture company so i'm going to motion picture company and we are going to do pretty much the same thing again and we are going to remove the line remove the fill oh my bad uh we're going to to remove the file actually made a mistake so you select this make sure you right click and then format shape and then you remove the no fill and no 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 line and uh what is happening here so now when i click away of course it's not i'm not gonna have any line that's surrounding it let's give this another uh let's now this i can give this maybe uh yeah i'm gonna give it like a arrow black and maybe i can give it like a size of uh yeah 14 is good and i'm going to create another final text uh which will be uh let us maybe a slogan we produce you enjoy I don't know I'm just this is just a random uh, slogan that I'm just doing here so of course we are going to do the same thing again right click no line no fill 
and of course i'm going to change my font again to arrow black and maybe 14 again so yes so now this is our test text that we are going to have inside our uh logo so now let's just in decrease this so we don't have those line there let's do the same as with this one so we are just going to decrease it and bring this up so we have our text so now we are going to create the shape of our logo so in my case i'm going to insert shape and you can choose whatever shape that you desire to want but uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial i'm just going to choose a circle so so when you uh, creating a circle so you have to click and drag but when you you're dragging you see that it's doing that like if your mouse like doing those weird wiggle so if you click shift you press shift my bad and then you drag you see like it locked the circle so now you only have the circle so let's do this uh, let's just decrease the size of this so now we have uh, our circle so now what you can do uh, you can right click again go here and let's say I don't want any line but I'll leave the, the color like that or what also you can do you can go to shape format and you can choose a different color uh, for for your text so since we have like uh, blue and that so I'm going to put it like something a little bit like thick uh, no I don't like this color uh, maybe so let's go here and let maybe give it this color here yes so it has that gradient uh, in there uh, I don't want any line on this okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna copy and paste this uh, same uh, circle that we have but now we are going back here and we're gonna go back to solid and we're gonna change this to white so we get that like moon effect there and then we can customize it to to pretty much what we want so let's say uh, something like this uh, let me just increase it no this and maybe i can go and you can while this is selected you can uh, press on shift and then click on the second one so I can maybe decrease the size so it's not doesn't look too big Oh something like that and I'm just going to actually modify it again let let's maybe yeah something like that and that looks fine so now uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to copy paste again the same white color but now I'm going to bring it back again to this and I'm going just going to put it there and maybe decrease it a little bit so it doesn't look too big and let's put it there maybe yeah and the same thing copy paste again and this time what we're going to do uh, i'm going to leave it like there and select the first one go back to solid color and choose white but it doesn't show because that is behind the other circle so what we can do we can right click and say bring it to front so now we have our uh, the white circle is in front so now if i just go uh this something like this and maybe push it in a little bit and i'm just going to select both of them to decrease the size a little bit so i can move them here so now we have uh this type of effects here so it looks good cool. it looks uh something like a logo so you can modify it whatever you want but for me i think maybe uh maybe something like this would be 
will be fine and because the other one what i can do is i can just uh, maybe increase it a little bit so it gives me that great like pointy thing out there so now we have this and then we're gonna go to our text so take our text and move it here so now it's still behind so what we can do is right click on the text go here and then bring it to the front so now we have our text for in the front so now what we can do is pretty much place it where we want so for me i think i'll leave it something like here yeah i think something like here it's fine so it looks good but it's still not like it doesn't look like great like the way we want it so what we can do uh i can Maybe I can bring it down a little bit, then push it here, and yeah, so this one looks good, but uh, I don't want to see that from the back. I want to like, cut it. I want to cut this part here. So what I can do is I can go back to the, the insert, go to shape, and choose maybe a rectangular, and let's go maybe something like here maybe go up a little bit whatever i want and i'm just going to no line again so if you're on a previous uh, uh version of uh word you have to right click and then go here and i can pretty much just leave it like that but i prefer to work here and let's put it as white now it's behind let's send it backward a little bit and now yeah this is what we have so far as our logo so it's looking already a little bit good so compared to uh to most of logos so this is, looks good so now we're gonna go get our uh motion picture and maybe we can put so we have to bring this in front again so bring it to front and but the size is a little bit too big so i'm going to select this maybe uh leave it to yeah maybe something like this would be preferable yeah and what we can do we can change the color of this just to give it a, a yeah maybe this looks uh, good and and then uh, yes so just to give it that flurry a little bit what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to insert click on shape and maybe give it a, just like something like like this and maybe something here uh, okay what we're gonna do is uh go back select another one now we're going to cut this so from like here i don't want any line white and we are going to send it back put it down here yeah, maybe I don't I really like this part here 
so something like this we can even adjust some uh, these ones here just to give it just it's kind of looking too fat and So this one we are going to maybe uh, uh, maybe it can get something like yeah or you can choose whatever color that you prefer or I can go to uh, this uh, oh, I don't like it I can maybe to a lighter blue so yeah and if you want to add maybe another thing uh, maybe a pattern or something you can even go here and change its color you can change the color that you want here uh, okay this one looks good And maybe I can go here and And that if we go here, uh, select this.